By watching this video, you'll learn how to verify patient insurance eligibility with PCC. You may be an expert on insurance eligibility already, but I'm going to take a second to promote this. Claim rejections and other payment delays hurt your practice. Your first line of defense is to always collect patient information and then verify insurance eligibility in advance of every appointment. PCC helps you do this automatically. Uh, when a patient's scheduled, PCC contacts many insurance carriers, gets an eligibility report, and determines the patient's coverage status. But someone at your practice needs to review that status and follow up. So, when do you do eligibility? Uh, does your front desk do it? Does the billing office check for tomorrow's patients? Today, I'm going to start by showing you the insurance eligibility tool. I can't show you live eligibility checking in this video, of course, because that would show private health information for patients. So, we've put together some images to show you instead. Here's what I might see when I open the insurance eligibility tool. I see a list of tomorrow's appointments. Most practices check eligibility for one or two days in advance, uh, checking eligibility for tomorrow's kids, for example. I can use these arrows up here, or the calendar button up top, to switch to today, or the next day, or any day, and here's my list of patients. I've got the time they're coming in, the patient name, their insurance, and the date we last got an eligibility report for the encounter. And then, my favorite column, according to the insurance carrier, what's their coverage status? Does it look like they're eligible for today's encounter? Now, when I look at a day, I hope to see all actives in green on this column, of course. Uh, but sometimes I'll see not applicable or inactive. And I might also see unknown. I'm going to have to look at those kids, see what's up. Now, wonderful feature. If you've got some blanks on this list, you can always click Request Eligibility, the button right down here at the bottom. PCC will right away attempt to contact each insurance carrier for all the kids we don't have eligibility information for, and request an eligibility report for that appointment. Now, does your practice break up the responsibility for who does eligibility in your office? Uh, you've got filters down at the bottom over here to adjust this list. Maybe Paul deals with Blue Cross Blue Shield and Janet does all the Aetna, or you divide the job up by location. Now, obviously, just looking at this list isn't enough. You need to figure out what's up with the kids who are inactive or for whom it says not applicable or unknown. Maybe they pay cash, or maybe their insurance information is wrong, or maybe their demographics are wrong. Uh, maybe you've got to contact the insurance carrier because they don't do automated eligibility. As part of your practice's policy, maybe you review all of these kids, um, look at their status, and mark it as verified. These columns over here, verification status and verification date, these are going to show me that someone at my practice has done it. So your practice is going to fill out these columns. Okay, so I double click on any of these patients. PCC EHR will open up the insurance eligibility review and verify screen. This window has everything I need to review the eligibility reports for a patient, take notes, call the family, update their policy information. I can do it all here. If you're watching this video, you've probably used PCC EHR for a while, so you may have already guessed this screen is a ribbon of components. At the top, I've got the insurance eligibility component, which we'll review in a second. And down below that, your practice can add any component they might need. Uh, my practice has the policies component, demographics component. I can contact the family and update their record. Okay, let's talk about the insurance eligibility component. This is the real heart of the insurance eligibility task. I've got visit information and a place for my notes, eligibility notes. That's pretty straightforward. And then I've got this gray bubble for the patient's policy. If the patient has two or more active insurance policies, by the way, I would see two or more sections here. Inside, I've got policy information. You can see Aetna, their copay, their certificate number, and then a status line. This is the one that's up to me. This is how I will verify. I mark that I've reviewed this patient's eligibility. Now, how do I know if the patient's eligible for today's encounter? Well, underneath that, I've got the most recent eligibility response uh, with a date and the coverage status. Active is here in green in this case. And these reports came from the carrier. If I want full details, what the carrier actually said, I can read that too. 
uh, with either the summary report, which I've got open right here, or the full report. I could click the little disclosure triangle down here to see the full report from the carrier. So after I review the status or the reports below, I might contact mom or dad or update their information. Uh, maybe if I need to, I should check eligibility again. I could click the request eligibility button right over here on the right. Or I might be opening up a website for the carrier and checking eligibility manually. So when I'm sure I know what's up, I can go ahead and verify that I reviewed eligibility. Once again, that's right here. I would give this encounter a verification status. Let's switch back to our live database to look at that. Let's open up uh, Greta Moyer. Here's my insurance eligibility component. By the way, this is what a patient would look like if their insurance carrier didn't support automated eligibility. Now I can still contact the carrier, enter notes, and verify their eligibility. I now know that Greta Moyer's policy is active. She's eligible for today's encounter, so I'm going to verify and set her status. Notice I've got some options here, like uh, we need to update the demographics, or uh, there's no insurance policy information. I could pick an option, and that way I'd know to come back and work on this record later, or work on it when they came into the practice. Uh, but I'm going to say I contacted the insurance company and mark it as validated. And notice also, PCCEHR records that it was me, Douglas, today that verified that eligibility. Okay, so I can click Save and Next if I want to continue to the next patient. Just go all the way down my list of patients, verifying each one. And back on my main patient eligibility list, PCCEHR will update the verification status and verification date column. So I, or anyone at my practice, can glance at this list later, understand who isn't verified to be seen today. Okay, that's the insurance eligibility tool. With a little practice, anyone can learn to use it to confirm eligibility for all of tomorrow's appointments. But you know, another great time to update policy information and verify patient eligibility while the family is standing right in front of you, checking in for their appointment. When I check in a patient, which I do by clicking on the scheduled visit status, I've got all the checking components I need right here, including the insurance eligibility component. Obviously, you double check insurance information when the family walks in the door every time, and you can also double check their eligibility. If someone already confirmed eligibility for today, I'd see that right here, the status they selected, any notes they entered. But if they haven't, or if you're updating policies for the patient, you'd have the same Request Eligibility button. That would show up right over here on the right-hand side of the screen. You could click it, review the report, and set the status yourself. I'm going to pretend that I contacted this Aetna Insurance and verified this patient is eligible. So, at most practices, uh, checking patients' insurance eligibility is done in advance by someone, a front desk, a biller, sometimes a nurse does it, and then the front desk check-in process is the final review to make sure the patient's visit today is covered. Uh, basically, everyone can work together to make sure the patient can be seen and cared for today, and to avoid billing and claim rejection problems later. There's a full written guide to everything I just showed you on learn.pcc.com. And of course, the best way to learn this is to go and open the insurance eligibility tool yourself. See it live on your own system. Two important notes. PCC's interoperability teams are constantly working to make sure that as many insurance companies as possible are hooked up for the automated electronic eligibility. But if you've got a special request or a carrier you'd like to check on, give us a call, send us an email. And of course, if you want more training on this process for your staff or you want help configuring the eligibility tool or customizing it, talk to your PCC client advocate. Thanks for watching.